السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ایم علی روزا فرام لاہور پاکستان آئی ایم اے ٹیچر بائی پروفیشن ہاؤ کین وی کال ون این ادر ٹو تھروتھ اینڈ صبر پلیز آنسر ان دا لائٹ آف سور الاصر جزاک اللہ علی روزا از آس دیٹ ہاؤ کین وی کال ون این ادر ٹو تھروتھ اینڈ صبر ان دا لائٹ آف سور اثر اینڈ آل آف از نو that Surah Al-Asr is one of the most important Surah of the Quran. And according to Imam Shafi, may Allah have uh, mercy on him, he said that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have revealed only Surah Al-Asr, it would have been sufficient for the guidance of humanity. And Surah Al-Asr is also called as the way to salvation, as Rahim Nijad. And Al-Asr means time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah is taking an oath of time. And there are three verses in the surah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal-Asr, by the token of time. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Verily, man is in a state of loss. Illa ladhin amanu, except those who have faith. Wa amilu salihat. And those of righteous deed, those who invite people to truth, and, and those who invite people to patience and perseverance. This surah, Surah Al-Asr, it is the way to salvation and it is telling that Allah is taking the oath of time and is saying man is verily in loss, except those who have these four criteria. So if you don't have these four criteria, you are in khasara, you are in loss, you are doomed. So the only way you can attain Jannah, the only way you can go to, that you can get salvation is by having these four criteria. Number one is Iman, that is faith. Number two is what is amal salihat that is righteous deed. Number three is Watawasaw bil haq, inviting people to truth. And number four is Watawasaw bil sabr, inviting people, inviting people to patience and constancy. So for any human being to go to Jannah, there are a minimum four criteria required. Iman, faith, righteous deed, inviting people to truth, and inviting people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these four criteria is missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not enter Jannah. You may be a very good Muslim. You may be praying five times a day. You may, be, you may have gone for Hajj. You may be fasting in the month of Ramadan. You, have, you may have given zakat. But if you do not do dawah, if you do not invite people to truth, according to this surah, you shall not enter Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and put you in Jannah, that is Allah's prerogative. That is Allah's prerogative. But according to Surah Al-Asr, under normal circumstances, if you do not fulfill all the four criteria, only doing dawah is also not sufficient, you should have iman. You should have righteous deed. You should invite people to truth and invite people to patience and perseverance. If any one of these criteria are missing, under normal circumstances, you shall not enter Jannah. It is compulsory that you should have all these four criteria. If Allah wants to forgive you and put in Jannah, that is a different question. Under normal circumstances, all these four criteria are required. That is the reason Imam Shafi, may Allah have mercy on him, he said, if the surah alone was revealed, it would have been sufficient for guidance. And if you read the Quran, there are many places, tens and more than hundred places in the Quran where Allah says, if you want to go to Jannah, you have to be a believer and you have to do good deeds. Iman and Amal Salihat. Iman and Amal Salihat. Several places in the Quran that Allah says, if you, have, if you are a believer and if you do righteous deeds. If you have faith and if you do righteous deeds. In the surah, the righteous deed Besides Iman and righteous deed, the righteous deed, two specific parts of the righteous deed has been specified. After saying Iman and Amal Salihat, after saying faith and righteous deed, Allah says, Watawasaw bil haq, watawasaw bil sabr. Because you invite, you have to invite people to the truth and invite people to patience and perseverance. Inviting people to truth means dawa. And Allah has mentioned about da'wah in several verses in the Quran. Allah says in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 125, Udu ila sabili rabbika bilikwa. 
wal mu'azzat rasna wa jadum bil ihsan invite all the way of the lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best most gracious and allah says in surah imran chapter 3 verse 110 kuntum khaira ummatan khrijat lin nas oi muslims e are the best of people evolve for mankind allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah imran chapter 3 verse 110 is calling as muslim as khaira umma the best of people whenever allah gives an honor it is always followed up with responsibility there is oh, there is no honor without responsibility when allah is giving giving us an honor in surah imran chapter 3 110 and calling us the khaira umma the best of people don't you think that we have responsibility the reply is given the same as allah continues and says ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in allah wa tu'minuna billah if we do not enjoin what is good and if we do not forbid what is wrong we are unfit to be called as muslims we are unfit to be called as khaira ummah so if you realize in the surah al asr Allah besides mentioning iman and righteous deed which is mentioned in several other places in the Quran in this surah it is specifically mentioning what was so bil haq what was so bil sabr inviting people to truth and inviting people to patience and perseverance dawa is mainly given to people who are outsiders given to non muslims but here inviting people to truth refers to both isla and dawa when we speak to a muslim giving him more information about islam the right arabic word is isla to repair to improve when we are talking to a muslim about salah about hajj about zakat we are giving him more information the more appropriate word is it is isla though the word dawa is synonymously used for both while speaking to muslims and non muslim but more appropriately when we speak to muslim this called as isla and when we speak to non muslim is called as dawa so in the light of surah al asr it is compulsory it is fard for every muslim to do dawa if you don't do dawa under normal circumstances you shall not go to jannah and inviting people to patience and perseverance that is sabr sabr is one of the criteria for a human being to go to jannah sabr means you should have patience and have faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah says that seek help with patience and perseverance many places surah baqara chapter 2 verse 153 so here allah is reminding us that dawa is very important so one of the criteria to go to jannah is dawa so every muslim should do dawa that is the reason according to allah subhanahu wa taala the best profession for a muslim is of a dai and i started my program with the verse of the quran of surah surah fusilat chapter number 41 verse number 33 allah says that waman ahsanu qala mimman dawila allah wa amilu salihan wa qala inna lil muslimin who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of the lord works righteousness and says that i'm muslim hope this answers in brief for more details you can refer to my talk i've given exclusive on the topic of dawa and so there sir hope this answers in brief Mm-hmm.